Hey, and welcome to Saturday here on the Queen Chat with me, Misty Falls. So this week's been a kind of crazy um, week and I had thought that I had already done this week's video because of already next week's one, like the stuff done for it. And then I was looking tonight and found out that I didn't. So this is why I am Boy Misty tonight. Also to everyone that liked and commented on both YouTube and Facebook on my last week's video, um, thank you very much because it was a topic that really, really meant a lot to me and the feedback that I got from everybody um, from it was really great. So now onto this week's topic which was chosen by me, Misty Falls. It was my first topic on the channel so um, I was a wee bit nervous when I start, like, went to choose, sorry, went to choose up. But it is, what is your view on drag queen pageants and competitions? Um, if you had been in any, what was your experience? And if not, why so not? So the reason why I chose this topic for this week is because around this time in Belfast is when a lot of drag queens would be thinking about going in for the big uh, kind of pageant, but more of a competition in Belfast, which is Opportunity Frocks. And it's usually around this time that me and Alexia would be sitting saying whether or not we're going to go in for it. Um, two, would have been two August ago, me and Alexia sat and said about whether or not we would go in for it, and we ended up going in for it, and I ended up placing runner-up, which was all best because I had only been doing drag, started in July, and went in for the November show, what's about five or six months, um, so it was kind of a really big thing for me to get runner up in within my first six months of doing drag and then on top of that um being my first competition as well. So it was kind of a big thing and that's kind of what pushed me onto the kind of Belfast gay scene as a drag queen was uh, opportunity for us. Uh, so I'll put the link down here to the YouTube page for Opportunity Frocks and I might throw in the website as well because it helped so me that so was much in the November and then in the July after which would have been last July um, I went in for a bar a drag competition called Trudy's Drag Race so I went in for it and it was me and Alexia both went in. Tanya Baddy, Hoyle Ho and Sassy Longshaft. Yep, yeah, it was the five of us went in that year and I ended up winning. Yay! Um, that one. So it was kind of a really good thing. The video is on my personal YouTube of my second week performance which happened to be on my birthday and my final performance which won me the show um are both in my personal youtube which will be down here as well sorry i had to move because yeah. i had to be grab my leg but after then trudy's drag race in july in the august then me and alexia were talking again and we were saying whether or not we were going to go in for, to Opportunity Fracks for the second year. So it ended up being that we both played and I got in and she didn't. But she still came out with me. Um, she came down to support that day. Um, and then it happened that one of the contestants had actually dropped out. Sorry, there's like a fly or, or a wee moth. And it's dangling in the bedroom. And I'm going to beat up once I finish this video. Um, so it ended up one of the contestants dropped out at the last minute. Um, because Lexi was with me, then she stepped in. So it ended up being that the two of us done the competition together 
again for the second year in a row um, which was great to have like I love it because I have the support of my drag sister there do you know what I mean like me and her like each other off something shocking but we still have each other's back at the end of the day um so that year I didn't place um but I'm not I'm do you know what I thought I'd be annoyed about it but thinking back on it I'm not annoyed because the people that placed that year were amazing um one of which the girl that won uh Lady Peaches Monroe you'll see in my video next week um so you will yeah so that's kind of my view on pageants from a performer's perspective from a host perspective um I tried and successfully organised kind of my own well my own view of what a pageant is uh to bring another kind of competition pageant to Northern Ireland in May just past called Bell of the Ball so I organised it with it was myself Alexia and two or three friends of ours that don't do drag they're just kind of my go to people if I have an idea and need to play it off um, Steph and Kirsty and Lindsay the three of them were involved in it so you know who you are and you got your shit out um, so the three of them kind of helped me you know by playing off ideas um, and then we had that in May just passed and a brand new queen that I had never met before came up and ended up winning the title so that was exciting to kind of after doing Frax for the two years and then being on the other side of it and organising it was kind of really fun and exciting to do and I can't wait till uh, next May until we get into your second year because I've already a couple of ideas playing about and I just need to get my team together and kind of sort it out but that is my views on pageants and oh a lot of queens and people were asking me at Belfast Pride last week if I was going in again for Opportunity Frax this year I can officially say that I am not going in for Opportunity Frax this year Misty has left Opportunity Frax to make way for brand new performers and brand new queens and to give them the opportunity to shine but I will be there at the Empire Music Hall on the 10th of November this year uh, so that's the 10th of the 11th 12th which is actually really easy to remember um, to support everybody uh, Misty will be there but she will not be competing um, so yes I hope you enjoyed this week's video if you did like down here subscribe up here and I'm really excited for next week's video um, and I will see you back here next Saturday on the Queen Chat with me Misty Falls <laughs>